Today's card is a best friends card and it's got some pretty little posies on it. It's got some bling, some embossing, stamping, ribbon, and more. So stay tuned to see how to make this card. Today I'll be working with the Pretty Little Posies paper pack and it is a double sided paper pack. Here are all of the designs. You'll be getting two of each sheet. Really cheerful springtime color combos. And then I also have the paper artist, artist embossing folder called Hearts and Dots and it is a four and a half or four and an eighth by five and seven eighths inch embossing folder and this works with most um, embossing and die cutting machines. Then I have the 214 red flower dazzles and these are holographic sparkly red and again there are 214 stickers on here so awesome value. Then I have the dress form small stamp and the design toolkit number six and there are six pieces in here they're all connected by this chain which you can unhook um, and use these separately and each of these larger plastic pieces has an inner shape on them as well so you're getting almost double the amount of shapes as there are pieces to this all right those are all the items i'm going to use let's get started now first I'm going to use my Hearts and Dots embossing folder. So I've cut a piece of white cardstock, just plain white, and I'm putting it inside the embossing folder. I've got my die cutting slash embossing machine right here. And I have the embossing platform, which is this dark gray one, if you have the Epic 6. Um, if you have another die cutting or embossing machine, you'll just follow that machine's instructions. And then I'm just gonna put the embossing folder on the platform and put the cutting mat on top. And just run it through the machine. Alright, so there we have a really pretty textured hearts and dots piece of paper. And here it is a little bit closer up so you can see the bumpiness of the design. And here's the back. You could certainly use it either way. I'm going to be using it with the bumps facing up. Now I'm going to use some metallic stays on and for those of you who have never worked with stays on before I'm going to go with uh, I'm going to go over inking up your ink pad. So this is a brand new box. Um, this is not part of the bundle today but it is available separately on paperwishes.com. So first shake up your reinker bottle vigorously till you can hear that little thing on the inside clicking around. So Hopefully you can hear that. And then I'm opening my brand new ink pad. This is the plastic covering you're going to want to keep and it just keeps the ink pad from drying out. You do have another cover on top so keep both just to make sure that your ink pad stays nice and fresh all the time. And it comes with a little piece of paper with tiny little instructions on here. It's pretty simple. You just do some drops of ink on here. And this is the plastic little squeegee scraper thing. So, let's see here. Oops, there's a bubble. Doesn't matter. Do some drips. On one side, and then it says to spread across with the squeegee. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And you can keep adding drops as needed. A squeegee that, spread it around. And you basically just repeat and spread until your ink pad is nice and saturated with the ink. I'm going to do some around the edges here. 
I really love this copper color. It's so nice and warm and shimmery. Now after you think you've gotten enough ink on your ink pad, then you can go ahead and start using it. I am going to start using it with um, a cosmetic sponge. And the other thing about these squeegees is you do want to keep it clean so you can use it next time without having gunk on it. So I immediately wipe it with a paper towel. If you wait till the ink has dried, you can always use some stays on remover. And I have this stays on all purpose stamp cleaner, and that will remove the ink. Okay, so before I cover this up, I'll go ahead and put the cap on that. But I want to take my embossed piece of white cardstock, my cosmetic wedge, I'm going to dab it on my ink pad and dab it on my embossed piece of cardstock. And look how beautiful and shimmery that looks. So I'm going to go ahead and finish covering my piece here and I'll be right back. Alright, so I have enough coverage here. Um, for my project. So I'm going to go ahead and replace the clear plastic cover on my stays on ink pad and then put this cover on. Now some people say they like to put um, zots on to this clear plastic cover and then stick it to this cover so they only have to take off once and then keeps this from getting everywhere. So that's just a little tip for you guys. Now I'm going to take one of the pieces from my design toolkit number six. I'm using this small label piece and I'm just going to go to the back of this and make make sure that all of the shape will be covered by the copper. You could do it from the front that might be easier. Um, just make sure this is dry and it does dry pretty quickly um, but I'm gonna go ahead and trace and cut out this small label and just make sure that the hearts are facing right side up and I'm going to head, go ahead and cut that out. And now I have my beautiful shimmery copper piece that's going to go on my card. Now I'm going to use the same um, piece here, plastic piece, to go ahead and cut out an inner oval and that's going to be using the light ivory pattern here. So that's going to be where my stamp will be. So I'm going to go ahead and trace the oval and cut that out. And then we're going to go ahead and put that dress form stamp in there. So here I've got my oval. I've got my stamp and it's on the acrylic block. And I'm going to use Timber Brown Stays On for my dress form stamp. So here's the inner cover just like the copper had. I'm going to go ahead and ink up my stamp. nice and evenly and stamp right in the center here okay looking good now I'm gonna go ahead and take a cosmetic sponge again with my timber brown and just lightly ink the edges of my oval just to give it a nice sharp frame now I'm going to go ahead and mat this on this red paper, just leaving a really thin border. So I'm going to go and just glue it down to the red and just cut around it. Now that that's done, I'm going to mat this copper piece onto the cream colored. It's got a soft floral lace background to it. But using the same size mat as this, I'm going to go ahead and mat this. Alright, so next step, I'm going to take another shape from my designer toolkit, the rounded label. And I'm going to take this really pretty floral pattern. I'm going to cut the rounded label out of that. So I'll first turn it over to the back and go ahead and cut the outside shape. Now that I've cut this pretty shape out of this pretty paper, I'm actually going to turn this paper over 
and I'm going to mat it on the orange side with just a thin border. Now that I've got that done, the next item on the agenda is to mat this six and a half by five inch card with this pretty petite flower pattern. All right, now I'm gonna concentrate on my greeting and I'm going to use the greeting from this little stamp that says, best friends never go out of style. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp that on the beige pattern paper and cut a rectangle out of it. And then I will be cutting an oval out of another color and um, I'll just stack them on top of each other and you'll see that in one second. So here's my finished tag. Now I did mat both of the pieces on the red diamond paper um, and just to go along with because everything else is matted so it looks pretty neat when everything comes together. So the next step is we can start building our card. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and glue these things in place. First this, and I want it off center. Then this. Okay, so I've sliced off the excess on this left side. And before I put the rest of the pieces on, I want to add some ribbon. And I've got just this red satin ribbon. Now this is coming from the eggnog ribbon set, if you want to search that on Paper Wishes. Um, but I'm going to glue it right here. I'm just going to do that using my uh, ultra thin zips. So there's my ribbon and I've got foam tape on the back of my other pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and center that within the oval here. And then for my tag, it's going to go right about here. And I've also made this little bow and that's going to go right there. Okay, we're nearly finished. I just have to add a few of these sparkly, blingy uh, red flower dazzles. Okay, now we're finally done. So you can see where I placed the dazzles, mainly just on the red flowers of this piece right here and then two on the label. There was so many steps to this card, I don't want to go through the trouble of doing an inside, but you have a lot of tools to work with in, in, if you want to make a matching inside. So that is today's card. I hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for this week's bundle and I'll see you again next week. Have fun! In this week's bundle we have the red flower dazzles and of course we're going to tell you how you can use them on the back. There's a project idea on the front and there are 214 flowers on here. And you can also use the borders in the background, uh, holographic material, sticker material as well. Um, we have the hearts and dots embossing folder, the dress form small stamp, and this has four different stamps on it. This little greeting says, best friends never go out of style. I love the detail of the dress form, the butterfly, and the swirl with the flower. We have the design toolkit number six, and it has some really pretty shapes in it. I'm hoping you can see. There's a an oval tag. Here's a tag, and it also has a, a dragonfly cutout. Small label with a nice oval shape. And it's nice that you've got these slots to work with too, because you can easily trace both shapes and then mount one the smaller one on top of the larger one, and you have a perfect frame. And the circle frame is a really pretty favorite of mine. And you also get a little bird with a wing. So, you can use this so many times in so many different projects. It's a really versatile tool. Alright, so that's today's bundle. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a great week.